Hello, like Abdi. How's it going? And this is another replica video, only this time I let you pick who I was going to be making. What robot I was going to be making. And the vote came through and it's going to be Robo Chicken. Now Robo Chicken fought from series 4 all the way to series 7. Each time a little bit of a different design, but the same overall concept. And I think to make the replica, I'm going to try and keep it fairly straightforward and therefore I'm going to go with the Series 5 version. It's going to have the dual weaponry, it's going to have the axe, it's going to have the tail flipper. So, let's get designing. Okay, so we've got the parts printed here, so we'll just see how it all fits together, or at least having the, the N20 and the, uh, and the servo. This, um, this isn't the servo I'll be using, um, I might use this N20, depends on how fast it is, wait a minute, no, that's, that's, that's broken, okay, never mind. Um, still, I'll put it on just just to see whether this is going to work or not. So the idea is I'm just going to screw this in. Yeah, I'm not going to use the bolts, I'm just going to use the normal 2mm screws just to hold this in place. So this will be used for the axe. Make sure that's secured. And then yeah, <laughs> yeah I will need to put in the the tack axe head, but that will come later. Um, we'll just put that in like so. So there we go. It's a it's quite a thin axe, but it, it's fine. <laughs> Besides, but the when it's all done, it'll look fine anyway. So now for the servo. As you can see, I have that little notch in the back here, just to help the servo sit in place. There we go, that's it. So nicely that sits in there. It will have a screw going in, just into there, but this is just to sort of see. This is the back. Oh, brilliant. It's not bad for a press fit, but it's... It'll probably need glued or screwed in, I'll decide. But uh, yeah, I mean, that is... That's looking pretty good so far. Right, um, yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, I think what I'll do next is actually cut the body. I mean, the cover for the body. This is the body. I'll just get, I'll just make the cover for it, and I'm planning on using uh, some acetate for that. So here is the acetate lid on. Now, I know it's not the best, but it's only really going to be competing in my tournament. Uh, I wouldn't properly compete with this. I mean, it's not going to be able to self-write, it's uh, it's not really going to have any metal weaponry or armour, but you know, it's, 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 it's fine for what it is. But now I've actually gotten that, I'm going to have to paint it now. And here we are, one Robo Chicken. I believe, but the feel of it, it's gonna be off under 150 grams, which should be fine. Um, looks okay. Unfortunately, I tried to print the beak, and the the walls were too thin. So unfortunately, we don't have a beak. So I will probably paint the nail orange. Or something, just pretend that's the bigger or something. I'm not sure what I'll do. But, uh, also aside from getting this mixed up, this actually looks quite good. I'm happy with that. So, uh, let's get it in the arena and uh, have a drive.
that I believe was a successful test. The flipper works, the head pecks, uh, yeah, it's uh, really good, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, yeah, obviously it's a little bit rough around the edges, but, you know, considering it's, it's, a, it's an intricate pe uh, piece of artwork, I'm not going to get everything perfect, but you know, it's close, it's recognisable, it does the job. And uh, yeah, I am very happy with this. <laughs> really good. And of course, due to the the vote that I put out, uh, this machine will be fighting in the Robot Carnage Extreme series, which will be at the end of the year, probably to the start of next year. But this will be fighting in it. Uh, will it be in Series 4? Very good chance. Um, so yeah, so we'll just have to see what happens. But Yep. I'll happy with this. So, uh, but uh, tell me, what do you, what do you think? Do you think I did a, a good job? Is my, is my drawing up to scratch? Is it, <laughs> is it, uh, is it fine? I'd like, I'd like to know. Please let me know in the comments below. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks very much for checking it out. If you want to see some other stuff I've done, including making some other replicas and bits and pieces, I'll have a link just there. And if you want to subscribe to see what I've got coming next, including this beetle weight I've been saying I've been making, I'll have a link just here. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.